Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back. And today we're continuing with our A to Z of Christmas and we are on letter I. And I today is for Infant Holy. And you'll see what I mean as we go along. Now this is a 5 by 7 card. I've made mine out of white cardstock. And on the front I've put a piece of 5 by 7 craft card. Now I don't usually use craft card, well not very often anyway. But we're going to for this project because it fits. It fits the theme and you'll see what I mean as we go along. And you will need another piece of craft card that measures seven by about three. It doesn't have to be exact within a few. With just, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, but roughly seven by three. And I haven't even measured this bit. Well, I've measured this bit, but we need to make two folds. We need to fold it roughly at half an inch and then at another half an inch, roughly. And all will become clear as we put the card together. So we're going to put the card together now. And I'm going to use a piece of runner tape for this. I'm just going to use a strip of runner tape. And I know how these things have a tendency to run out just when you need them. So I'm ready for it. I've got a piece, I've got another one on standby. But this is all we need the runner tape for, at least I think it is. So that first half inch we're just going to stick down like that. And all will become clear as we put it together. Now we need our image. Now I have used my own nativity set, which I've had for goodness knows how long. And all I've done is I've arranged it and I've put my little background, which I've always got on hand. And I've put it, I've arranged it how I want it. I've arranged the pieces as I want them and simply taken a photograph. And I've, I've enlarged this to just just under five by seven. It doesn't really matter. It's probably about four and a half by six and a half. So that's what this is. And we're going to stick that down now. And I am going to stick mine down with my favourite. Oh, I'm going to take the top off first. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? I'm going to stick it down <laughs> with my favourite glue. My, my Well, my favourite glue stick, my orange glue stick. Sorry, I, I threw myself there. I do beg your pardon completely forgot to take the lid off. Oh well, never mind. I knew it was going to be one of those days this morning when the Wi-Fi failed on me. And so, but we're going to keep going anyway. So I'm just going to turn that over. But already we have an image. Now I'm going to put that to the bottom of our image like that. You don't have to worry too much about it because we're not done yet. And so I have got three frames. Now, these are a five by seven frame, but with the bottom beam cut off. So that's the easiest way of doing it. And each of these, this is half an inch wide. These beams are half an inch wide. So it's a five by seven frame and just cut the bottom beam off. Or you could just start at the base and cut out three sides, whichever is easiest for you. So we are going to lay this down like this. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring that down a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. It's always a good idea. So we're going to line it up, or I'm going to line it up, with the bottom of my card. And I should have told you, but I'll show you on the next one. I have got foam pads on the back, like that. And so I'm just going to turn that over like that. And we're going to lay that down like that. So you may be able to see what we're attempting to achieve here. Now you might have seen, I've stuck this on the wrong side. You can see the pencil marks here, but that doesn't matter because we've got one more bit to pop on and I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to lay that down like that. And then we're almost done I, here, guys. You just bring that down like that. If you want to, you can chop a bit off if you think, oh my goodness, that's a bit high. But the good thing about it, it will fold flat, or flat enough anyway. It'll fold flat enough to go into an envelope, or it should do. And so when you stand it up like that, it, okay, I know that that bit's not very straight, but it doesn't matter. And you've got a little manger with the roof on the top. So just, if you're really worried about that bit, if you do cut it and you think, oh my goodness, that's not very straight, as I thought there, I, I didn't realise it until I stood it up how crooked it is. So what we need to do is just 
like flat like that. Take our scissors, if it makes it a bit shorter then so be it. And just hold it still with one hand and cut it with the other. If it's a bit jaggedy it doesn't matter because it's a roof. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's a roof. So now when we fold it over like that, we can just fold it over, we can have it however we want it. And there you go, there's your little manger card. I know you can't really see that like that. But if I fold it down like that, oh, that's better. Oh, the sun's come out, that's very nice of it. So if I hold it down like that, you can see how it looks when it's standing up. And when it stands up, it looks like that. And you can just fold that down, pop it in your, it should just about go in an envelope. If not, you might have to put it into a box envelope. But that'll, because it's craft card, it'll hold its own, it'll hold its own shape. So you don't have to put any hinges or anything like that. That stands like that. So when, you, when it's standing, it'll look like that. And you've got a very simple infant holy. And there is our infant holy in the middle. And if anyone's asking you why you've got a manger, or a stable, it's not a manger actually, a stable with carpet and curtains and wallpaper, just tell them that they've refurbished. No one will know. And so that's what I should, that's what I tell people anyway. Or you could you could change it out and make it more traditional, I should say. So you could do that if you wanted to, or if you've got your own stamps or dies of a nativity. I haven't actually, which is why I used my nativity set and just arranged it how I wanted it. And again, if you wanted to, you could put a sentiment on the roof, which I might do later. I've decided not to do it for now. I've decided to keep it fairly simple. But for now, I'm keeping it like that. But we, we could put a little sentiment on the roof here. So that's our I for Infant Holy. So another relatively quick and easy card. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful and indeed you have a go at your own. Or if you can come up or if you've come up with another I for in for R A to Z of alphabet, let me know and let other people know. So we can have as many varieties as we can. So I'll see you again very soon with our next one. It depends on my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi failed spectacularly this morning, so I'm actually doing this on my mobile data and hoping it doesn't run out. But so far we're okay. So I'll see you as soon as I can, hopefully tomorrow, with our next one. And I'm sure you may even be able to guess what I've done for Jay, or what I'm going to be doing for Jay, but I'll leave that to your imagination, and I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those who subscribe, to our new subscribers, to our long-time subscribers, and to anyone who just happens to be watching. Lovely to have you with us. And I'll see you soon for our next in our A to Z of Christmas, which will be Jay. So I'll see you then. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, have fun, and as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.